Wishing for a Christmas mortgage miracle? Patriot Trading Group wants to make your wish come true. Just enter to win on Family Values Radio website, and you can enjoy having your mortgage paid for a year. That's right. It's the Christmas Mortgage Miracle Contest. The winner will receive their mortgage or rent payments covered for a year. To enter, go to FamilyValuesRadio1010.com and click on the banner. Enter once each day to increase your chances to win. And look for bonus entry opportunities. That's FamilyValuesRadio1010.com. And enter the Christmas Mortgage Miracle Contest, sponsored by Patriot Trading Group. See our website for details. Good morning and welcome. Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group. And how you doing? Uh, it is Friday. Yeah, made it, made it through uh, another week here. Uh, we got a big event going on in Colorado. I know Jason is uh, joining us today. Jason, I know it's going to be a busy day for you today. Yeah, I got you. Uh, end of the week is always, uh, you know, batting down the hatches, you know, the weekend shows, make sure everything is, is in place and, and working. And then, of course, uh, we actually have to get everything done at the radio station for Monday. And then we throw in a Friday event, and there's, uh, there's that going on. And, uh, you know, fake news Friday, and a lot, you know, I got four hours ready to do anyways. So it's, it's, a, it's a busy day. It's a busy day. Better you than me. I'll tell you that right now. 800-951-0592. That is our toll-free number. You already know what we do. You already know why you need to own it. The physical delivery of gold and silver. 25 years. Getting ready. Man, just think about this. We're, what, six weeks away here from starting year 26 uh, for the Patriot Trading Group. And uh, this is how long this show has been on the air, believe it or not. Uh, again, uh, when you do things the right way, you stick around uh, for a very, very long time. And and, I, and we've been dealing, Jason, we've had a lot, lots of new customers. And, and, and it's always great because more and more people are waking up to what's really happening out there. And, and, and every day it's so in your face now. Uh, you know, paying four dollars for gasoline, uh, going to the grocery store, and and everything's a fortune. The shelves are 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 empty. Uh, you know, that now we're uh, back to uh, the COVID, the never-ending COVID breakouts, and all these other things that are happening in the world today. The endless money printing that's going on with the government, and people are wising up. And and a lot of you know, and a lot of these new listeners and and new. Uh, people buying in the markets. I hear this a lot. Oh, I really don't know. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yes, you do. You know. You you already knew because you knew you needed to call. Gold and silver are not complicated. And and they, you know, and that's part of the problem, Jason. Because everything else, you know, people just think about it when when it comes to uh, the, their financial things. You know, like four hundred one ks and IRA. They have made everything so complicated that they think everything has to be complicated. Uh, buying physical gold and silver from us isn't complicated at all. Uh, there, there's a couple of principles that we have. Uh, and why it is I think people like uh, doing business with us. Uh, number one, privacy. Very important. And, and I don't just mean privacy for you, but privacy when you're buying, selling, and trading your products. Uh, a lot of these, especially the online guys, they love to throw out uh, these bullion items that they're all well and good until you need to sell them back, right? And then all of a sudden, uh, everybody gets upset because it's, hey, I need uh, I need all your information. I need your social security number. I need your address. Uh, you need to be 1099 all those things. You want to avoid those things. They're unnecessary. Uh, and again, it's uh, like uh, things I always say, never buy from the guys on TV. You're going to pay double and triple the price. And uh, what we do here, we want you to buy as privately as you can and as close to the spot price as you can. That's it. It's just that simple. Uh, and, and, of course, today with demand the way it is, buying closer to spot, you know, it's harder to do, right, Jason? It just it is what it is uh, as more and more people are, are wising up to uh, the house of cards that is our financial system. 
uh, the 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 more you pay, right? If silver was at sixty dollars an ounce, the uh, the premiums would be a little less. But since the uh, that's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, know, we hope, we think anyway, yeah. As a percentage, it would be lower if silver were is where it should be, which is a much higher price, fifty bucks an ounce. Gold at like thirty five hundred to four thousand an ounce. The premiums would be a, a, a lower percent above spot. But that's not where we're at. We're at this uh, rigged uh, part of the cycle, and this is a great time to get in, Joe. Yeah, well, I think the cycle's getting ready to become unrigged, and why? Uh, maybe, and I don't know if maybe you've heard it in my voice here the last week or two. It, I'm really trying to, to to stress to you: this is the it, it's buying time here. Yeah, uh, you know, because it's hard. I get it. You know, gold was kind of in a funk this year. Uh, you know, think about and, and silver, right? Silver was down to like twenty two dollars. Gold was in like sixteen seventy. Uh, and of course, now look at today. You know, silver's twenty-five bucks, gold's uh, eighteen sixty in change, uh, and and again, everything has changed here. The charts have changed, the momentum has changed, and and really, the biggest thing that's changed is no one believes what the Federal Reserve was saying when it came to inflation. And now we're getting ready for the bigger breakout here. And I want you to to I wanted you to buy when we were in the funk. But right now is probably the uh, even more critical uh, because the next leg up. I mean, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about you know silver wise, twenty, thirty percent, and that's just you know, longer term. We're talking probably about a hundred percent plus. But just in the next sixty to one hundred and twenty days, uh, very easy, easily see a twenty percent move in silver. Easily see a 10 plus percent move in gold and those are big moves and you want to make sure uh you've bought some more or you've added to your portfolio or you got in finally to the gold and silver markets uh before that next jump up jason yeah i mean 2018 2019 when brian and i joined up patriot trading group that was a great time to buy uh, but people weren't buying as much as 2021. What I like about the people that bought this year, Joe, after the uh, the fake raid on the Capitol building, people just have been buying all year in this funk. So uh, if everyone's buying in the funk, Joe, it must be uh, a lot of people getting ready for something. Are we going to build back better or build back worse? We're going to talk about that next. 800-951-0592, Patriot Radio News Hour. And it happened last night well i guess maybe early this morning the house of representatives have passed the largest expansion of social safety nets in decades of course really i mean let's call it what it is okay let, let, let's be honest with what this really is government handouts we're going to take from success and we're going to reward the failure this is a absolute m this is a picture-perfect recipe for an empire in decline. Amo uh, Americans should be up in arms. We shouldn't want this. We, we And again, though, the, I don't know when this changed, but somehow now uh, we're in this entitlement era, right? This it, It's just like, and I say it all the time, it's just like uh, every kid gets a trophy era. right? This is what this is. Well, I'm entitled. You know what? I, I mean... I know I didn't do the right thing, and, and, and uh, maybe I didn't study hard enough in school, and, and blah, blah, blah. And, and, you know, I had, and I got my reasons why. But, you know, I'm an American, so I, I should be entitled to free stuff. The House of Representatives have passed the $1.75 trillion. At least, uh, I guess, if there's a positive, it, it wasn't $3.5 trillion. Of course, what, what's in this stuff? We got stuff like what they call universal pre-K. All of that is, is we're going to babysit your kids. Uh, now starting at three years old. Instead of at, you know, used to be when I was in school, kindergarten was a half a day. And you started when you were five. And you went to school, I don't know, three, four hours. And of course, you went home. You had you had mom there. You had that 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 complete family structure. And and, the, and again, this is just the end of of people raising their kids. It's over, right? Because you know what comes up next. Oh, you know what? Why why even mess around? 
hey, as soon as that kid comes out, we'll just provide free health care for you so you can go right back to work. So we've got pre-K. And of course, oh yeah, we're going to educate your kids. Please. We're going to raise our kids. And you know what that means. Medicare expansion. Even though, listen, I've already told you, Medicare goes broken in a couple of years. <laughs> I got a great idea. Let's make it even bigger. Yes. Renewable energy credits. I don't even understand renewable energy credits. Hey, you can go ahead and, and do uh, bad things uh, to the environment, but as long as you buy these uh, these credits, it's okay. I mean, it's uh, just an absolute joke. An expansion of child tax credits uh, and also some more uh, Obamacare subsidies so even more people uh, can... Uh, Live on the doles of the government for health care. Uh, four weeks of federally play, play, uh, paid parent six or care, uh, sick or caregiver leave. All kind, Jason. There's all kinds of great stuff in here uh, for people that uh, again just want government handouts, and and it and it's it went right down party lines. So the vote. Now this was in the House. 220 for it, 213 against. All but one Democrat voted yes. All the Republicans, and then there was one Democrat that voted no, uh, and, and for a good reason. By the way, also in this, so remember when Donald Trump passed uh, the tax bill and they limited how much, you know, if you lived in a high-tax state, the federal government's like, hey, you can't write off all that stuff. Well, they put that back in this bill. So part of Build Back Better is the the people that, uh, especially the rich people that pay high taxes in California and New York, uh, they can now write all that off again uh, back on their, their uh, taxes. But now it goes to the Senate, Jason. And, and we, all 50 Republicans are already going to vote no uh, and it goes down to, to Joe Manston and, and Kirsten Cinema. Cinema, she's here from Arizona. Uh, she she kind of all of a sudden had a, an about face last week. It looks like she's going to vote for this thing. I don't know where Joe Manchin is, but if Manchin votes yes, uh, then Kamala Harris is the tiebreaker, and we're going to get another one point seven five trillion dollars in government handouts. A nice bag of money must be being slid to those last few votes. That's that's how you make your money in Washington. <laughs> you just get that way. They got a big bag of money when you. Uh, it, it cures your conscience a little bit. And uh, in, in the bill, yeah, it, in the bill itself, Joe, it's brave new world. You know there should there are no parents. And uh, and it, by the way, uh, we're gonna spend a lot of money and, and help a penguin in Antarctica if you if you believe that stuff. It's just amazing. Uh, there's so much pork in this thing uh the cbo by the way uh who again they only can do what what they're told to do uh came out and said you know nope, this bill does not pay for itself i want to say they said that uh, it's going to add like 375 billion dollars to the deficit i'm just going to tell you right now double that number just double that number and, and that's then that's probably being kind uh, because they make all these wild assumptions that somehow uh, the few uh, tax increases they had. Listen, the rich people, they always leave them loopholes. They'll go right around it. And, and all of this is going to do is just pile a bunch more debt uh, that, that we already can't afford on top of it. And, and it's just, it, it truly is amazing here uh, because I, I, I got to believe by going this route today that they felt confident that they have Mansion and Cinema on board, Jason. Yeah, I, th I think so, Joe. I mean, it, it, that, that's a lot of peer pressure for those two Democrats to have to face. You know, even if there isn't a bag of money going their way. So, yeah, I, I don't see how they can do it. They they don't want to be the uh, the ultimate evil bad guys in the Democrat Party by voting against it. That's that's. I don't think these people have that kind of intestinal fortitude to, to go against a party. So we'll see what happens here if this passes. That's probably going to be one of the, another one of these catalysts. Uh, for higher gold and silver prices, 
Uh, and, and again, I don't know where, and this has just such, been such the problem with this big government. Where does it end? Where does it end? It just never seemingly ends, does it? They can have another you know, one. Behind, they can have another one behind this one, aren't they, Joe? Well, think about just the, the. Let's think about the school part of this. First, it was. Well, let, let's have all day kindergarten. And we'll we'll pay for that, right? So they gave money to the cities and the states and the school districts to, you know, uh, pay for another kindergarten teacher and all that other stuff. Blah blah blah. Then it was, well, how about uh, pre K? You know, for four year olds. Now now we're three year olds, right? Two year olds. It just never ends. Free health care, right? Oh, yeah, it's going to lower your health care costs. Remember that nonsense? When Obamacare passed, my health care premiums for me, my wife, and my two kids was $252 a month. It's now $1,072. And here's the bad part. I don't, I'm afraid of what it's going to be next year because the we just got the first round, the, the a little bit of COVID cost in, in this one. So we're locked in uh, till, till the, what, about this time next year. I think it's still like November of next year. Then we got to re-enroll. Uh, and, and Jason, I mean, where does it end? How much more money are we going to have to pay uh, to provide all of the, you know, quote-unquote free stuff for everybody else. It'll break. And when it breaks, uh, you'll have chaos. And then uh, there'll be a lot of pain and suffering coming behind that. People have, people have no idea how bad it's going to get. And, and just it's just the timing when. When's it going to happen, Joe? Uh, uh, yeah, and again, uh, I guess at this point, uh, and remember, they have Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary. She's out there cheerleading the bill, right? Jay Powell's compromised. Right, Jay Powell's now just a puppet. He's just going to do whatever they want him to do because he wants to be uh, uh, get the renominated again uh, to the Federal Reserve and, and hold off Lael Bernard at least for a few more years. Uh, but neither here nor there. Uh, when you look at, at what's happening here, uh, it, it's really uh, simple to see that we, we've, we've taken this dramatic turn. Uh, to to the so, to, to socialism, uh, we've taken this dramatic turn to uh, government subsidies for everybody. There's so much in this bill; it's crazy when you think about it. Uh, things that uh, are completely unnecessary. You you would almost you, you would need to believe uh, that America was this giant cesspool uh, before all of these free handouts. And actually, when you think about it, think about it now. We've done all these free handouts, and we've been doing it now for 20-plus years, 30-plus years. Homeless people are everywhere, right? Uh, now they're telling us hospitals are so full and blah, 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 all this. I mean, things are getting worse, not better, but yet they don't even uh, – no one seems to be paying attention, Jason. Well, if you're in uh, Washington, D.C., you've, you've got your uh, little place uh, solidified. I mean, there's, there are those, those people at the top, Joe, they don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. They'll, they'll, they have a place to go. They have the protections needed if there's an uprising and all that stuff. You know, don't believe what you see on TV. And, and if, you've, if you've got your place, if you're a part of the big club, then uh, you just kind of watch everybody else uh, sink and drown while uh, things go the wrong way. They, they're going to hold this. Here's the thing, Joe. What, why are they planning it the way they're planning it? Why, is, why are they pushing it as far as they are? It's just, it seems like a timed event getting ready to happen. Yeah, something is, is just, it, it just make, it defies logic. It makes no sense. Uh, but that is the government. And I guess the days of less government, uh, maybe we've got to go so far in the other direction before everybody else wakes up. Yeah, it's got to completely break and, and fall apart, Joe. You know, it, 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 unfortunately, uh, the Roman Empire when it fell, you know, uh, you had you had uh, the Dark Ages. Now I, I don't know. Uh, we're headed in that direction. I don't think it'll last seven hundred years. But America, if you want to be the Constitution and, and actually be off of that, Joe, it's it's it, it's going to have to completely fall apart. You have to completely it, it's destroy a good it. Comparison. I, I like I like your Dark Ages comparison. This is what we're heading for. And really, when you think about it, China emerges, right? Uh, we, we apparently have no interest 
in protecting the dollar. We have no interest in protecting the country. Uh, the only thing we seem to be interested in is how much uh, can we give away to people to try to make them feel better. Because let's face it, what are they trying to really avoid? Well, we don't want the people uh, to be affected by the mistakes that we've made by all the overspending, uh, the fact that we lie about inflation every single day, and now even with the lying, it's back to record highs. Uh, we don't want uh, you to know. So the best thing for us to do is create all these ridiculous programs uh, so, it, so you can pretend that you're still quote unquote middle class. Right, so that way, hey, you don't know what we're doing, but but again, that, you know that you're just building on the house of cards, and we're just waiting uh, for that one big event for uh, the whole thing to come crashing down again and end up, you know, kind of like Jason said, is it going to be a dark, uh, the dark times, if you will, uh, for the United States? And, and I think that's probably going to be accurate because China's going to step up uh, and become a you know, a major player as far as uh, the global currencies are concerned. I'm sure we're going to go to some form of a digital dollar, and there's going to be a length of time. Listen, these debts got to get paid. They got to get paid. And and it's simple who, they're, where they're going to get the money from. They're going to get it from us. Uh, don't, don't be fooled about that. Uh, and how long it lasts, uh, I'm hoping that once we go through this, people wake up and we get back to really small government and, and then un unleash that entrepreneurial spirit uh, that the United States used to have and get government out of our lives. You know, think about all the, uh, the stuff with COVID and how hard they've made things for uh, businesses out there. Just another example of that. When we get back, our beef price is going even way higher than I said. And buying silver super close to spot, it's a one-day event. 800-951-0592, uh, the, uh, the United States Cattlemen's Association uh, is requesting that the, who, who are they requesting? The Food and Drug Administration? Trying to see uh, who has it. Uh, I, I I, I want to say it's the FDA. Uh, they, they are now demanding that they stop beef shipments from Brazil, saying that there's been a massive outbreak uh, of mad cow disease. And uh, apparently, Jason, this timing couldn't be worse. 15% uh, of all domestic beef supply comes from Brazil here in the United States. Uh, but they're saying that, uh, yeah, the, the USDA uh, saying that uh, this could spread to U.S. herds. So I guess I don't, I, they're bringing the cattle in live. I don't know how it works. Uh, but uh, already a bunch of countries have already uh, stopped Brazil's beef uh, imports from their countries. Uh, and now the U.S. Cattlemen's Association is making the same uh, request here. And like I said, Jason, man, the timing couldn't be worse. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, sometimes I don't know what news to believe. You, you, I hear you say a, a news story like that. And I, all I go, I go right into, well, is that really happening? And, and why are we not getting cattle from Brazil? What's the re what's the real story behind it? But well, I mean, first of all, the real story should be why do we need to get cattle from Brazil? That yeah, yeah, that's that's. I mean, that's right. let's face it. Uh, Argentina too. They're they're a major uh, producer. A lot of that stuff coming from somewhere else. Uh, but I just wanted to throw that in there. If, if that, ha I'll I'll try to stay on top of it. Uh, but if that happens, uh, beef prices, which are already astronomical, will get even more expensive. Uh, but before the break, I told you we got a. This is a one shot deal uh, on some silver. Now, yesterday we did a big silver show. We ran silver eagles, uh, quarters and dimes. I still got quarters and dimes on sale. But let, I want to break down price for you. On sale, pre-1965 U.S. dimes and quarters are $8.56 over spot. And, and listen, we're like the cheapest around. That's 
you know, uh, very few people are, are there with us uh, anywhere. $8.56. That's what doesn't sound like a lot until you realize spot's only $25, right? Uh, off sale, $10 over spot. Half dollars, which half dollars are like silver eagles are almost unobtainable. It's a bigger coin. Right? $11.36 over spot. Yesterday, I ran Silver Eagles because we had some. They were at $11.25 over spot. So you kind of get an idea of, uh, and again, remember early in the broadcast, I said, you know, listen, you want to buy as private as you can, and, and you want to buy as close to spot as you can. Uh, in the silver market, uh, it's just not possible. Uh, we had uh, a unique item show up at the Bullion Bank in California. Connie called. We talked to them. We, we've got 99 rolls. I don't know, apparently, whoever sold them wanted to keep a roll for themselves, I guess. We've got 99 rolls. These are... Uh, these older Canadian dollars. These are the Queen Elizabeth dollars. So, you know, think about uh, the U.S. You know, we had dimes, quarters, and half dollars. They had silver in them up and up through 1964. Well, in Canada, they had silver in their coins up to 1967, 1968. These silver dollars... These are the Queen Elizabeths. They were from 1953 to 1967. Each one of these coins has six tenths of an ounce of silver. So for a roll of 20, you're going to get 12 ounces of silver. Silver right now is $25. Spot silver. So silver that's in the ground in the middle of nowhere is $25 an ounce. We've got these rolls, 99 rolls of these Queen Elizabeth's Canadian silver dollars. They're at $345 a roll of 20. That puts your cost per ounce at $28.75 or $3.75 over spot. So when you think about premium, listen, and I don't I I don't love pushing, you know, uh foreign stuff and this and that, but when it makes sense, Jason, it just makes sense. Yeah, earlier this year I had like 200 rolls here locally in Colorado of uh, 40% silver half dollars. That's the Kennedys from 65 to 69. And uh, I had them, I think it was about two bucks over spot, Joe. And I just didn't put them on the air because it just, it just, it was, I had people coming in regularly just, just picking up rolls here and there. And it was just so cheap over spot because that's, it's not a popular item. But man, for the silver uh, content over spot, it's, it's the best way to go. So these, these are big coins. These these silver dollars from right. Canada. These are silver dollars from Canada. They're big coins. They're just just like our Morgan dollars or our peace dollars. It's their version of it, and uh, you know, point you know six ounces of silver. You know, six tenths of an ounce of silver in each one. That's a nice heavy amount of silver. Just slightly less than the silver content of a, of a peace dollar. And uh, I want to point something out too, not to cut you off. No, go ahead. I forgot to mention because I forgot to mention this. These are CUs. Oh, so I'll buy the yeah. are gonna, beautiful these coins. These are going to look brand new. Just wanted to point that out as well. So these so, are so not whole bunch ugly, extra. worn down. No, these are brand new. Yeah, you get way more for for the money. So yeah, the, the ones I was selling that the forty percent silvers earlier this year, they were not that that good. They were they were nice looking, but they weren't they weren't CUs. So there you go. Yeah, so, so three hundred forty five bucks for twelve ounces of silver. I mean, wow. Yeah, that's less than thirty bucks an ounce. What did you say? Twenty eight twenty eight seventy five an ounce. Uh, Twenty eight seventy five. It's like a normal uh, premium. An ounce. It's like a normal and, and, premium. And, and, and that yeah, you're, you're, 
that would be a normal premium, and, and we haven't had normal here in forever. 800-951-0592. I've got a couple of lines open. Uh, I've only got Connie and Brittany here today, so, so hang on the line. Uh, we'll get to you when we call, but this is a no-brainer. Listen, the best I can do on a U.S. minted, these are dimes and quarters, not even a big one. Right, these little ones is eight dollars and fifty six cents over. That's wait, that's too much. Three seventy five over, and they're CUs. This is going to be a great deal. You're going to love them. Three hundred forty five bucks for a roll of twenty. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. And uh, we got one line open here. We've got the CU and CU Choice on Circular. That's these things are to look brand new. Uh, the CU Canadian Silver Dollars. These are the Queen Elizabeths uh, from fifty three, nineteen fifty three up to nineteen sixty seven. That's when Canada took all the silver out of its coins. Uh, this is a a one dollar face value coin. Uh, they come in rolls of 20 today. They're $345 each roll. It's going to have 12 ounces of silver in it. Joe, I got a number for you. Uh, you buy a roll of these, and it's $60 a roll better than quarters and dimes. 60 bucks wow. better. That, that's... That's just well, and again, but this is why we're running them today. Uh, there, you know, when the deal's there, the deal's there, and, and you know our philosophy. Here. Remember what I said at the beginning of the show: buy as close to the spot as you can. And right now, this is it. Nobody, nobody has silver anywhere in the twenties, and twenty-eight seventy-five. Uh, is uh, is a price per ounce is, is just absolutely fantastic, and and if you were to get anything close to this, you're talking about the worst of the worst, right? This is going to be silver that's beat up, it's worn flat, it's bent, it's got holes. I mean, you know, it came from Bob's gold mine, whoever Bob is, right? No, these things they're go- first of all they're Canadian government hallmark, so you got credibility up the wazoo. Then they're going to be in in like new condition. So uh, you're getting all the best of, of both worlds here. Uh, they're three hundred forty five dollars. Well, we have them eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Uh, as well as find out uh, the build back better. Of course, uh, I call it build back worse. Has passed the house this morning. Uh, the only Republican, or I'm sorry, the only Democrat that voted no, he didn't like the fact that the the states that with the high taxes, uh, all of a sudden now you can write off eighty thousand dollars. It used to only be ten thousand, now it's eighty thousand. So a giveaway, if you will, uh, the Democrats giving away uh, monies to rich Democrats and high tax states, Jason. That was a nice, safe way to get his name out there in the news. You know, hey, I, I'm, I'm the I'm yeah, the that's right. Because right, right. you know, because if, if his vote was the turning vote, I don't think he would have done it, Joe. Like unlike yeah. the uh, the Senate, you know, you can't do it on the Senate side; it's too close. But uh, hey, I can be a dissenter, get my name out there, maybe uh, get a few more I, I votes. Can o- I can almost guarantee you, this guy knows he's got a really hard uh, uh, re-election against a a a Republican and. Didn't want to get hammered over it, so he threw a throwaway vote, knowing they had the votes. I absolutely agree. How about this one? Switzerland today reporting that gold exports to China for the month of October was the most gold they've sent to China in any month. Uh, Going back uh, to 2018, China and India, the largest consumers of gold, uh, demand in, in both countries slumped during the first outset of coronavirus have now skyrocketed back. Switzerland, the world's largest refining center and transport hub, showed that uh, gold moving through Hong Kong has been increasing all year long, and October uh, was just off the charts, Jason. Yeah, when you buy... Uh, uh 
well, I'll just say put it this way: when you buy less U.S. Treasuries, you can afford to buy a lot more gold. Because that's what China's doing. They buy less U.S. Treasuries. They, they've been slowing down for years, right? Well, that's been the pattern, right? They 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 sl- in, in not huge amounts. Maybe we're lowering our holdings five or ten billion dollars this month. Five or ten billion dollars that why do, month. Joe, why do I feel like if there's more physical gold out there, they'd be lowering it a lot more? Could be. I, I don't know that answer. I, I do think, though, as we're seeing here, remember uh, the the reports that we, we got through with the World Gold Council talking about uh, China, or I'm sorry, India, uh, making huge gold purchases to their foreign currency reserves, Brazil making huge purchases, and, and again, countries like Poland, who never had bought gold before are now all of a sudden buying you know 40 50 100 metric tons uh, a year and saying hey listen we're going to keep buying uh, this is definitely i think as we go towards that digital da- that digital dollar i got a feeling jason uh, that gold's going to play some type of role here because we're seeing all kinds of nations now uh, that normally wouldn't be, you wouldn't think about, why would you buy gold? And yet here they are, they're all buying gold. And again, the reason, they've got too many dollars, plain and simple. And why do I also get the feeling that each economy, because Poland doesn't have a huge economy, why do I feel like they're buying the appropriate percentage of gold versus other economies? I mean, China China has the second largest economy. they got to have a whole lot of gold. You know, so uh, Poland, well, if you got none, you got to buy a little bit because we don't know what the... Uh, what the reset's going to be. And I, why do I feel like uh, gold might have a, a temporary uh, position there to, uh, while everything gets, uh, while the dust, dust settles, right? Yeah, and it's going to be, it, it's really fascinating as we look into uh, what's happening here. And then when, when Switzerland's coming out and saying, hey, by the way, in case anybody wanted to know, uh, we're importing or exporting all kinds of gold to China and China uh, a lot more secretive they don't tell us that they're adding to their reserves like India and Brazil uh, but but if you just you know common sense tells you yes we know there's great gold demand in China not just for jewelry not just for investment demand but it sure seems like they're purchasing a lot more than just that uh, and, and is that going to be, you know, when the when the shoe finally drops in the U.S., is China going to come out and say, hey, oh, by the way, we're the largest world, the holder of gold in the world. Patriot Radio News, our final segment coming up. 800-951-0592. Uh, I've got a couple lines open. Stay on hold. We'll get to you in the order that we called. Uh, during the break, I made a quick check. It looks like we've got about 40, uh, 40 rolls or so left. Uh, these are the Canadian dollar, silver dollars that we are running. These aren't the, the new ones. These are the older ones, 1953 to 1967. That's when Canada took silver out of its coins. Uh, what makes this thing such a great buy, not only how close the spot it is, uh, but the fact that they're CU, so these things are going to be like new condition. Uh, the roll, you get 20 in a roll, or $345 a roll. That's 12 ounces of silver in every roll. That puts your cost at $28.75, or basically $3.75 over spot, uh, which in today's prices, as I told you, I gave you the price for U.S., you know, U.S. silver, you're talking $10, $11 over spot. Uh, even the Canadians are that high, but just this is a unique thing. Uh, this just happened to hit the bullion bank this morning. We bought it this morning. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, right out the door. This won't, uh, This the, they're still in San Diego. Uh, we won't get these in until after Thanksgiving, uh, but then we'll call you and you can come pick them up. Uh, but your prices are locked in, so don't worry about that. They're three forty-five a roll at eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Jason, yeah, three rolls of uh, silver dimes uh, on sale today uh, will cost you three hundred sixty bucks, and you're going to get less than eleven ounces of silver in that. So here you're getting twelve ounces of silver for three hundred forty-five dollars. 
kind of makes it an easy choice where to get your silver today, Joe. Yeah, well, and that's why we ran it. The only reason this made sense is they they gave us a price we couldn't refuse. Uh, we're passing that on to you because uh, buying closer to the spot just makes sense. I listen that you know at twenty eight seventy five. I mean, silver right now. I think we're, we're probably going to be seeing thirty dollars silver here within the next uh, two to four months. That's just my opinion. Uh, anything could happen, but uh, and at that point, you're, you're going to be darn glad uh, you, you had picked some of these rolls up. Eight hundred. Nine five one zero five nine two. Remember, it's an early week next week. Uh, we'll only be open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so it's an early week uh, as we get ready for the Thanksgiving holiday. Get these Canadian silver coins here. Three forty-five a roll. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. God bless.